Hey guys, this is Billy Davidson with Davidson Pressure Wash Painting, Hammer, Louisiana. Wanted to talk about downstream injecting and downstream mirrors. Can I give you a bigger shot of my um, my machine here? Obviously, we got two of them over here with us today, but we're gonna be downstreaming just out of this one right here. Now, I get a lot of guys ask me, what is a downstream injector? And it may sound like common sense to us because we've been doing it for years. And guys, if you've been in the industry for a while, maybe you can drop some comments in the box below and help me explain this because sometimes it's not as easy as we think it is for someone new to understand this. You know, we've been doing it every every day for years and years, done it thousands and thousands of times. It's like tying our shoe. But if you've never done it, you don't know what it is. Let's say you've just been laid off and you're trying to make some extra money with a little pressure washer on the side. And this is important information for you to do. So this is, have to know. So this is a downstream injector. And what it does, this is, um, it's got a very long hose. Well, th this one's got a long hose, about 10 feet. And it actually goes to my SH drum. SH means sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is a bleach solution. So it's got, um, it's basically like household bleach, but um, we use 12.5, which is about two times stronger than your regular Walmart bleach. And no regular Walmart bleach do it, but stronger the better. So this is a downstream injector. Now what it does, it connects, quick connects. That's where you see this. This is a female quick connect, uh, connection, female quick coupler, it's three eighths in size. And this is the male end. Now this can be vice versa on your machine, but you do got to recognize that this arrow, and I don't know if it can be picked up on this one. There's a flow direction on these, these downstream injectors. You don't want to put them in backwards so that wouldn't work. Um, yeah, I don't see one on there. It's maybe this one's kind of got wore off. Maybe it's on there. I can't see it, but so it goes into the pressure side of the pressure washer. Now this is a, a trailer mounted machine and obviously it's going to be different than maybe if you got something on a cart, maybe you got pulling something out of your garage. Like I said, maybe you've lost your job and you got this little pressure washer in your garage and yes, you can go make a living with it. So, but the main thing is, is how are you going to apply your bleach solution? You do it with a pump up sprayer and a brush that sucks. You know, um, you can do it with, um, uh, a soft wash pump that gets a little bit more complicated, especially if you're just trying to get into this really new, uh, or you do it with a down trim injector. There's actually, there's a bunch of ways you can apply a bleach solution. I mean, if you wanted to, you will walk up to the side of the house with a bucket of bleach and splash it on it. But that's not going to be any fun. So this is one of our easiest ways to do. So this actually, this downstream injector, and I'll show you. Now th on this part of your machine could be a female end. It may look like that. And then your downstream injector male end goes there. So it, it doesn't matter what side is on it. It just matters if you got the flow going on your injector the proper way. So obviously the water is gonna be coming out of at a this in this direction at a very high velocity. So that's where it, it goes into this injector and it does some things and sort of kind of creates a suction out of this hose, sort of kind of like a little tornado, if you will. So it snaps in there. Always make sure it's a positive lock. Now your pressure hose will go on this end right here. It'll snap into it and this hose, let me twist it around to orientate it. So remember, if I start this thing up, obviously this machine is not a pull of rope. It's got a key start and a battery. So this is a little different, but the principle is the same. So the, the water is going to flow this way out the pump. At the bottom right here, this bigger line, so if you can get it, that's where my water comes in from my buffer tank. So this may have, may not be your case and it may not pertain to you. Otherwise, this would be your water hose from the customer spigot going into your machine. So this is my downstream injector. My pressure hose connects into this. Now, if you don't have this set up, some of these smaller machines have the injector built into them with a the little hose barb coming out. A lot of times they are stopped up and, and all of that. Um, you can try to squirt some WD-40 down in there and try to tap on it, whatever. See if you can get it to start siphoning it. If you can't, you may have to go buy one of these and add it on to that. And, and from my understanding, you can add it on 
to it. The first one's not going to draw, but the second one will, will draw. So I think you, you should be able to be all right. And, guys, if I'm wrong about this, like some of the veterans in there, let me know because it's been years since I've messed with one of those small machines. And y'all can tell me if piggybacking them worked. I believe so. So, anyway, um, your pressure hose is going to connect into here. Now, whether you got 150 feet or 100 feet, you know, then it's going to hook, hook to your wand and your black tip is going to draw soap. Now, if you use a pressure tip, which we call uh, one of these color tips, I don't even know if we got, yeah, we got some here. We don't even use those, but we use a J-Rod, which is not going to be pertaining to you if you got a small pressure washer that for your, from, from out of your garage. So, this, this line I'm, runs all the way back to my downstream injector. This is one end. It goes a bunch of feet up, about 15 feet. Now I drop this in into my sodium hypochlorite tank right there, or my bleach tank. If you don't have that, you can drop it into a bucket right here, or directly into the bleach jug. I have, in years past, had my little bleach jug here, take the cap off, squirt a few drops of soap in it, shake it up, stir it up, whatever, drop this in it, and suck straight out of that bleach jug. You can do that. It does siphon better if the bleach jug is higher than the pump. So if you can siphon it off the trailer, or if you set a milk crate right here and you've got the bleach jug sitting in there, that'll siphon a little bit better. For, it's called coefficient drag if you're not familiar with it. And guys, again, if the guys, y'all veterans is watching this, y'all can comment on there and add stuff to this if I'm missing something. Um, and guys, the new guys, I'll tell you, there's a lot of guys out there that's gonna help you and lead you in the right direction. The uh, pressure washing community is, is a real good good group of guys for the most part. So, you know, reach out to them. They'd, they'd be willing to help in any way they can. Of course I am. So this is the downstream injector and the, and what, the way we apply bleach is through down, downstream injection. So I hope that helps explaining how we spray bleach on the house. And oftentimes, even using 12.5% sodium hypochlorite or bleach that's twice as strong as Walmart, we still have to apply this bleach two or three times. Uh, most often twice, sometimes even three. I have done it four times, but whatever it took not to have to climb up there with a ladder and with a scrub brush. Now, what are the, where, are the, where do you get these? You can get them from a bunch of pressure washing websites, um, pressure wash store, um, and there's a bunch of them. Pressure Tech, um, I'm, Wash Mart is another one we've ordered from in the past. You can just, um, Northern Tools, carry them. You can just Google uh, downstream injector for your machine, whether you got a three gallon or two gallon or whatever, four gallon, you know. So this is just a crash course on downstream injection and spraying bleach. If y'all need any help, Feel free to reach out to me if you need any of my training videos, how to get job leads fast, power washing, or if you want to start your dumpster route, get in touch with me. Text me. It's 985-345-0778. And guys, if you've been laid off and you looking, you need to start making some money right away, this is one way you can do it, even if you got to rent a machine. So, again, my name is Billy Davison. I'm the owner of Davison Pressure Washing and Painting. We'll talk soon.